Hi there, Pisces. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we are straddling 2014 and its end and the beginning of 2015. So it's an interesting week this week, the week of December 29 through January 4, and it culminates in a full moon in Cancer, which of course is your fifth house of romance and self-fulfillment. So for many of you, New Year's Eve could very well be a time when you and your partner decide to go your separate ways or you wake up at the end of the week and realize that you don't want to be spending another year with somebody that you're not compatible with. It could also be a friendship thing, but it's quite an interesting weekend coming up for you. But before we get to the weekend, we've got to get through the week. And it's important to know that nine planets are in, are in direct motion right now. We've only got Jupiter out of phase. So that's a really nice way to end a year and start the new year. On December 30th, the Capricorn Sun dances in a trine with the Taurus Moon, a connection that speaks to the power of love, Pisces. If planets could talk, they might be saying something like this. We look forward to the time when the power of love will replace the love of power. Then will our world know the blessings of peace. And on that note, we end 2014 thinking about the love of power versus the power of love, which of course are very different things. The 2015 New Year begins on Thursday, January 1st, with an idealistic Mars and Aquarius sitting exactly opposite Jupiter in Leo, Jupiter being out of phase retrograde through mid-April. So it's up to us to keep our faith, to keep buying those lottery tickets, to really um, maintain our inner enthusiasm, because that's what Jupiter does, and Jupiter's out of phase. There's a very practical, no-nonsense, motherly full moon in Cancer, on hand Sunday, January 4, reminding us to close the back door before we open the front one, Pisces. This uber-responsible full moon is all about taking responsibility for the past and doing the work to make the future a reality. Pluto's co-starring role in the full moon next to the sun and opposite the moon is proof we all have the tools we need to heal our wounds, transform our sorrows and meet the new year with courage and determination. And so as we move into the new year, we start off with that full moon, which is very much going to set some things straight for you, your romance, self-fulfillment and creativity zone. You may decide in the next couple of weeks that you're working in completely the wrong business that's not suited for you, that's not creative enough for you, that's not giving you enough time to branch out and be really, you know, be all that you can be. And so you'll decide to maybe go back to school, maybe work part-time, maybe work from home, but whatever it is, Pisces, know that you've got a lot going for you with Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline in your 10th house of career and reputation for two and a half years. It's moved out of Scorpio where it was and now it's set up shop in your 10th house and it's the planet of discipline and focus and life lessons. So this could definitely be a time when your work fortune changes and swings around and you find yourself in a couple of months doing what you love and loving what you do, and I hope so. Happy New Year, Pisces. Great speaking to you, and I look forward to spending 2015 with you.